Downloading a GPX file and importing it into a mapping app is really quite straightforward. I'm going to show you here on an Android phone using Outdoor Active, which is a free mapping app. Uh, if you want to pay a subscription, then uh, OS Maps Premium is better. Uh, the procedure, at least for the first part, is the same. So, starting from this page, where you can see that I've included to a, a link which says this folder. So, if we click on that, it takes us to this folder which contains icons for different walks around Bristol. So, I'm going to use here the, the second one on the left, Bristol to Nailsey and Backwell, which is the walk that I describe in the article for Somerset Life. Now, once you've already done this and it's already set up on your phone, you can click on any of those icons and it will automatically open the mapping app and import the file, uh, short-circuiting uh, the next part which I'm going to show you. But in this case, I'm assuming that you're doing it for the first time, and also that you want to decide where you want to save the file that you're going to download. So to do that, instead of clicking on the icon, um, see the three small dots underneath the name of the file. So click on that and it opens this menu. The third option is download which by default takes you to the download file a folder on your phone. In the top right hand corner you see save. Click on that. And then go to the Files app on the top left hand side on your, in the, usually on the home page of your phone. And there you can see the file Bristol to Nailsy and Backwell. Again, once it's already set up, if you were to click on it, uh, it would open automatically. But in this case, uh, see the, the three small dots on the right hand side, click on that, and the third option is open with. Now here you can see that uh, I have already installed both Outdoor Active and OS Maps on my phone. So here we're going to use Outdoor Active, click on it, and the GPX track starts to import into the app. Now, uh, by default, you'll see the name there is a kind of a long one saying tracking on and giving the date. So I'm, I'm assuming here that you will want to give it a, a more recognizable name. So Bristol to Nailsey and Backwell, save. It then takes you to this page, which are the list of the routes, which uh, you can see here, I've already got several on there. Um, so yeah, one of the options within Outdoor Active is routes, not to be confused with tracks, which are tracks that you have recorded yourself. So if we click on the top one, Bristol to Nailsy and Backwell. And you can see there, uh, it includes various uh, pieces of information. It shows the, uh, the elevation of the, uh, the hills and so on. Um, <clears throat> it shows at the top there, the how long it is, 14.8 miles and the length of time that it took to, to walk it, 6 hours 20, which I think was with, with quite a lot of stops. So if you then click on that map, 
and it will open the map, the main map within the app, and you can zoom in. So once the GPS tracking is working when you're outdoors, that um, grey circle you'll see there turns blue and that shows where you are. And as you start walking, if you walk along the route in red, uh, you can see yourself following the route or you can see where you've gone off it. Uh, you can move along it to go ahead or backwards. You can zoom in or zoom out in order to see the big picture. And really it's as simple as that. So I hope that you enjoy your walking.